Hi guys, it's Ben here. The transfer window is over. We've dusted ourselves down. We've all had the whole weekend to forget about it, to move on. And now it's time to just worry about what happens on the pitch as far as the Reds are concerned. So with that in mind, let's give out some awards for some players for August. So we are now midway through the international break. No Liverpool football to watch until next weekend when we take on Manchester City in the Premier League. So I thought I'd take a look back at August and see who deserves some awards. Now I'm going to give away five awards in this video. I'm going to do this each month for Liverpool and I'm also going to do it for the Premier League as a whole in another video later this week. So this is just Liverpool only. Five awards all four particular moments, individuals or whatever. I'll go through the categories now. So we have goal of the month, Flop of the month, surprise package of the month, the moment of the month, and of course, player of the month. So five categories there, up for grabs. Let's get into it. Goal of the month for me is Emre Chan against Hoffenheim, his second of the night, Liverpool's third. It's just absolutely stunning football. It's football of which I don't think we've seen for years. The quick, incisive, one-touch passing in the build-up, Wijnaldum plays it through to Mane, Mane dribbles, sort of teases the defender, waits for the overlapping run from Firmino, Firmino makes the overlapping run and just stands up a lovely cross to chant the back post who's there to volley at home from close range. It is just absolutely sumptuous. Jurgen Klopp is on the touchline going absolutely bonkers. He, he knows that's football and that was the goal that really sealed our passage through to the Champions League group stages. Magical, magical football on a great night for Liverpool. Some real stellar performances, especially in the attacking areas. Wonderful goal, wonderful move, and that is just the archetypal Liverpool Football Club goal for this season, I hope. I hope to see many more of that kind. On to flop of the month now. This, of course, is going to be a harsh one. I mean, we had a great month, really, when you look at it. I think, obviously, the Watford draw uh, aside, we won all the other games, but I think our performances on the whole have been very good. I think if you were to rate our month out of 10 in terms of results and performances, you're probably looking at something like an 8 out of 10, I'd say. I mean, the Watford draw was very disappointing. We all came out of that one really downbeat. And the Palace win at home was hardly convincing, but we got the three points. Other than that, Hoffenheim, home and away. Yes, we looked a bit shaky in defence at times. We conceded three goals across two legs. But then to round it all off with the Arsenal 4-0 was just wondrous and that really gave us some momentum going into hopefully hopefully September. So a flop of the month though does have to be given out and in this case I'm going to give it to Dejan Lovren. Not a popular man at the moment. I think, you know, maybe it was difficult for him with the Van Dyke link still hanging over his head. I mean, I guess he was feeling very nervous as a result of that and it can be easy knowing that your position is up for grabs. So you want to do as much as you can to make sure you're doing as much as possible to prevent anyone coming and taking your spot. He's also got the likes of Ragnar Klavan who put in a good performance against Palace breathing down his neck. Also Joe Gomez, he's been playing well, albeit at fullback for the majority of the campaign so far. So the pressure has been high on Lovren, but he has made some inexcusable errors. He was all over the place at Watford and at fault for a couple of the goals in the Hoffenheim tie. I think the ones at Anfield, you know, you're just kind of shaking your head wondering what he's up to. So he's been far from perfect. However, he did play pretty well against Arsenal in the 4-0. So he's not a complete nightmare of a centre-back. But if I have to give a flop of the month, and I do have to give one flop of the month, I don't want to hate on him, but Lovren has been, in my book, our least impressive player so far. On to the surprise package of the month now. Whether this is a surprise or not, I don't know. I mean, there was a lot of hype about this guy before the season kicked off. Uh, you know, a lot of people were talking about him potentially making his way into the first team, and it is Trent Alexander-Arnold. Um, he hasn't played all the games. Obviously, Joe Gomez has come in at right back for one or two of the games, and Klopp has made it clear that he won't he won't play Trent too much. He knows he has to ease him in. And that's of course the case. Apologies for that. That's of course the case with a lot of teenagers. You have to really ease them into the side. You don't want to be you know, giving them 50, 60 appearances a season. You have to be careful with them. You have to manage their fitness. You have to manage their expectations. And you, you, know, you don't want to be making them a key part of the team too early. But Trent was called upon for the Champions League game against Hoffenheim away from home. And boy did he step up. Boy did he step up. And not just that. His confident runs, his, his athleticism, He's not afraid to get forward, he's not afraid to take one for the team, he's just it's crossing superb as well. His set pieces, we saw at Watford in particular, his set pieces were just marvellous. He'd been called up to England and 21s. I mean, this is the season when he's going to really progress. He was chucked in against Man United last season in January, and, you know, I think some of us panicked, some of us were, oh my God, United are going to get so much joy against him. They had no joy against him. He was confident, assured 
gave him nothing, especially after he settled in our first 20 minutes. So I guess you could say it's not a huge shock that he's come into this Liverpool side and made an impact, but the way that he's just been so calm, composed, uh, bit of, almost a bit of a leader at the back there. Obviously, he's got the likes of Matip next to him to guide him through, but I'm very excited about this young man. And that leads me to the moment of the month, which is his free kick against Hoffenheim. I, I want to keep these categories sort of as separate from each other as possible, but that goal against Hoffenheim was just the real catalyst for Liverpool's positive run towards the end of the month. Uh, we were all sort of doom and gloom after the uh, Watford 3 all. We had the Coutinho stuff hanging over our head, him wanting to leave. Uh, we weren't in great form, our defence was looking shaky, and even in that game we, we had to save a penalty to stay in it. Uh, and then obviously we get the set piece. Uh, we're not playing particularly well at this point, and then Trent just steps up and pings it in the bottom corner. Absolute, absolutely the most precise shot you could possibly imagine from that sort of range. Lovely, lovely goal. Great celebration. Great moment for Trent Alexander-Arnold. Uh, and obviously that set us on our way to qualify for the Champions League proper. And, you know, since then we've won every single game. So what a moment that was. A real turning point when we're all feeling pretty down about ourselves. Trent's goal against Hoffenheim is the moment of the month. Now, the most coveted award... Uh, one I'm sure we could all argue about all day, is the player of the month. Now, there are a few contenders for this. I think we all agree they're in sort of the front six. Um, the likes of Emre Chan has been superb. Wijnaldum, later on in the month particularly, has been good. Firmino, world class, uh, you know, as far as the perform performances in August are concerned. Mo Salah, who I think is winning the actual official poll on uh, LiverpoolFC.com as to, you know, player of the month. But the one I've not mentioned there is Sadio Mane who is my player of the month. He is frightening. He is going to be an absolute gem this season. He's not going anywhere. He's not going away for the Cup of Nations. Uh, let's pray he can stay fit, because if he does, I don't see a way that he doesn't score 20 goals in the league. In the league, I don't see how he doesn't score 20. Um, he is just absolutely staggering. Uh, I, said, I think I said in a video um, about a week or so ago that you know, I, was, I was hesitant to call him world class. Um, I was hesitant to say he's the best player in the league, but he's not far off. He's not far off being the best player in the league, and he's not far off being world class. I think by the end of this season, that might be a popular opinion. He's he's just majestic. He's quick. He's got panache. He has got eyes in the back of his head. Uh, defenders hate playing against him. I mean, you saw Rob Holding uh, last Sunday. He just didn't have a great afternoon, did he? And who did? I mean, against Watford, he was everywhere. Um, and of course the, the Palace game when we need someone to grab it by the scruff of the neck and just take us through, get us the three points, just get, get the 1-0 for us. He was of course the man to do it. He scored in every league game so far. Um, he's just, I'm so excited about this footballer. I think he's going to be a Liverpool's player of the season, uh, barring Coutinho maybe, um, assuming Coutinho comes back in. But for me, look, I know Salah's comfortably ahead on the, on, the, on the poll on the website and I know he's been great since he's come in. I'm very excited about him too and he's got some goals uh, for the Reds as well. Um, Chan's been marvellous. I mean, he's obviously playing for a contract, whether that be here or elsewhere later on. If he, if, you know, he can agree with, with Juventus in January, but um, Firmino as well has been sensational. But Mane for me is Player of the Month. So those are my five winners. Chan wins Goal of the Month. Lovren, unfortunately for him, uh, wins Flop of the Month. A surprise package goes to Trent. Moment goes to Trent against Hoffenheim, and then the Player of the Month goes to Sadio Mane. Leave a comment with what you think of those five awards. Who would you give each of them to? Do you agree with my picks or not? Any that you do disagree with, do not hesitate to let me know. I'm gonna be doing this every single month and do be sure to check out later this month, Premier League awards. So will any of the Liverpool players, any of these moments make it into that? You'll have to wait and see. In the meantime, hope you enjoyed this one, guys. Please do leave a comment, as I say, like and share the video and follow my other socials too. It's been my say on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. I'll see you next time.